All right, guys, so I'm uh, going to make a hat today. Well, today it's probably going to be multiple days because I'm not sure how to do any of this. But I got three pelts that I collected over the last couple of years, shot and scum out in tandem, two fox and a coyote. And I'm going to do a, it's going to be a fur on the inside and the outside. So basically I have to make two hats out of them and then sew them together. Yeah, I already made the pattern out of paper. The first thing you're going to do is flip it over so the first side's down and you trace your pattern onto the skin side and then you cut them out. So I need two of each of these out of the fur. I think I'm going to try to do the coyote on the outside because I like, uh, you can't really see it, but it has really, coyotes have really thick guard hairs on the under, like, I don't know, it's almost like two layers of fur. So, uh, the coyote's just kind of thicker looking than the fox, and the fox feels softer to me, so I want that touching my skin. And this coyote smells kind of nasty. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is flip them over, I'm going to put the pattern on, I'm going to trace them out, and then cut them. And uh, you don't want to cut it with scissors, because then you cut the fur, so you have to use a knife, and it's kind of tedious. But uh, at least that's what I've read. So that's what I'm going to start with. So this coyote pelt is pretty uh, beat on the inside. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get enough to do all coyote on the outside. I'm probably only going to get a couple of pieces out of it because you just want to lay out your pattern in the ways that you can get the most out of it. But I shot this thing with a 308 and I blew a hole about this big in it that I stitched up and I didn't do a very good job stitching it so I'm gonna have to just cut around that spot so uh yeah we'll see and this spot's not dry I just washed it so we'll see what I can get out of it all right so I was only able to get three of my five out of this so far but I think I'm gonna get another one or two out of it but you see the wet spot is actually a spot where I didn't get uh, all the fat and junk removed out of it properly. So I'm actually going to put some more tanning solution on there so I can get another piece out of it. But I'm going to cut these out for now and then I'll do the fox and uh, see what I get. So I was able to get all of my remaining pieces out of these two pelts. There's so much waste, kind of sucks. Uh, it's really nice looking too on the other side. I love the dark under fur. But, uh, so yeah, I'm going to cut these out of here and then Start uh, sewing, I guess. So I got all of my individual pieces cut out, finally. really like these fox pelts. They're uh, super soft and I love the dark under hair. Looks wicked cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the fox ones first and kind of on second on the side. Uh, what am I going to do? I might end up lining the fox one with fleece or wool on the inside and see if I get two hats instead of one instead of doing it um, back to back like this. We'll see. I might stick with my original plan and I might not. But yeah. Next step is sewing, which is going to be a pain because I'm horrible at it. <laughs> Alright, so this part's going to be a bit of a pain, but uh, I'm going to try to clamp the pieces together with some clamps and I'm going to use a 40 pound braided fishing line for that. instead of using waxed leather <coughs> thread which is what I should be using but uh, I'm going to see if this will work and I'm just going to clamp it fur to fur and that way when you fold it you don't see the uh, seam at all because the fur should hide it so you hold your pieces fur side to fur side and so on and then when you flip it it'll look good Alright, so I finished sewing one ear flap to the back of the hat and 
I mean, it's kind of weird. I tied it off every couple stitches because I don't want it slipping out. But uh, don't know how it looked when we flip it. Can't even see it. I mean, you can tell it's right here, but I think once I rough it up a bit and rebrush it, I don't think you'll ever see it. So let's sew the other ear flap on, I guess. So yeah, I brushed the fur away from the edge that I'm sewing. Just kind of get it going, get the grain of the fur going away from the edge. It helps a little tucking it. I mean, it helps a little when you start tucking it under. Get it on there like that. And I do the same to this ear one. Try to here. And then I'll get it on here. Get my corners together. Hold it in place. Alright, so I got the whole thing stitched together. As you can see. It's continuous all the way around. So on these ends where I tied off the thread, I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue, hot glue. Ooh, drives in 45 seconds. Um, it's not what you should use. You should use, uh, like, I don't know, shoe glue, or they make some leather cement, it's kind of like contact cement, but for leather, and you could paste the whole thread, but I don't have any, so I'm going to use that and just put a dab on my knots to make sure they don't come untied. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to try to sew this top onto here, and then we'll see what it looks like. Should be good. Well, it took me like two hours, but I got the top all sewed on. All the way around, nice and tight, put some glue on the stitches. Then I took the two tails, and I just put some glue on there and a few stitches, and then when I sew the outside on, that'll really lock those in there, but that's on the back. See? Big B. But, uh, yeah, so then we'll flip it and see what it looks like. Actually isn't half bad. Can't see any of the stitches. And the tails look pretty cool. Good ear flaps. Man, I don't know if I want this on the inside or not. Looks pretty good. I like the patches of white and black from the uh, underbelly of the fox. See that? That's right where the stomach starts. That's why it turns from uh, red to black. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's uh, 